YouTube, uh, welcome back. Uh, they are working on uh, chapter 5 still, and um, the problem we are working on is called Coin Simulator. And basically, what this uh, challenge wants us to do is to create two classes. One class is called, is called um, Coin Class. It uh, tells us we should create a coin class which would have a string um, field named side up and uh, that string field would either display tails or heads and um, we should also have uh, two methods one method uh, would be toss method that would uh, toss the coin and um, it would it would create uh, a random number between zero and one and if the random number is zero that would mean it's heads and if if it is um, if it is zero the, the random uh, the side up would be heads if it is uh, one the side up would be uh, tails um, so that that method would be called toss method and the second method is called get side up, which would return whatever the side up is. And we also have to create a constructor which takes no argument that would call the toss method. That would be the first class. The second class, we have to run the coin class and um, we have to create a, a for loop that would uh, toss the coin. Um, the coin 20 times and it would uh, keep track of how many tails and how many heads um, the program displays and we should display um, how many heads and how many uh, tails are there so basically I created a coin simulator uh, class and um, let's begin so first the thing we have to do is create a string class called no a string a string field called side up then a constructor which takes no argument and it the constructor's job is to call a method called toss then we have to create the the toss method then we have to create a random number first we have to create a random object then number equal random next int and the way we get a, a range between 0 and 1 is to say 2 minus 0 so it would be the minimum would be zero and the maximum would be one so it would either display zero or one then we have to say we have to say if if number equals if number equals zero uh, If the number equals zero, it would the side up would be the side up would be heads. If uh, number equals one, the side up would would be tails, right? Then we have to create another method. This would be public string get side up. Then you have to return the side up. So this is all we have to do for this class. We created the side uh, up field to store whatever the side of the coin is. We created a public constructor which takes no argument and Inside the constructor, we call the toss method, which would call this method, 
and this method's job is to generate a number between 0 and 1 and after the uh, program generates a number we have to check which number it is if it is 0 then the side up would contain heads if it is 1 the side up would contain tails and the lastly this uh, method would only return the whatever side up is so I created another class to run the coin class and I already created the main method and I initiated the coin uh, the coin simulator uh, object so what they want us to do is to first the display the initial um, face of the coin and the way we do that is we will say side up equal coin get side up then we say initial side up then we say side up after that we have to create uh, have to also give a space um, we have to count heads count which would be zero tails count which would be zero as well then you have to create a for loop to toss the coin 20 times uh, 20 i is incremented by one each time then to toss uh, the coin 20 times we have to initialize the coin class again inside the for loop then we have to say a string or we will say uh, side up coin coin simulator get side up then we have to say if if uh, side up equals ignore case heads if it says if if that is the case we have to increment by heads count and we would uh, we would uh, display the index of that side and uh, we would display the side and after that we have to also check if it is tails then we have to increment we have to increment then you have to print the side up so let's uh, and also we don't have to forget uh, we have to um, display the totals of heads heads count and tails then let's let's run it So first, the initial uh, initial side up would be heads, as well as the first one. So the first two would be heads, heads, and the first three would be heads, fourth, fifth, and then fifth would be tails, seventh, nine, ninth. So in total, the heads are 8 and tails are 12. So this is the first time we, we run it. And it is 20 times because 0 would be 1 and 19 would be 20. 
if the index uh, started with one, it this would be twenty. That's why they uh, they are showing nineteen. The computers start with zero. If you didn't know, so let's let's run it again. Again, uh, when we run the second time, the heads are fifteen and tails are five. When we run the third time, the heads are 14 and tails are 6. Right? So that, that would be it for our, our, um, our challenge. We answer it uh, correctly. Um, in, this, uh, in this class, you create a, an instance of the coin class then you create a, a side up uh, variable to hold whatever the side is and you would print the initial side up and then you create uh, two variables to hold the heads count and tails count and then you would create um, a for loop um, to create, uh, to create a, to, to, to run like uh, the the toss method, right? And inside the inside the for loop, you create uh, the the instance of coin, and then you run it again. Every time the loop runs, uh, the uh, get side up would be run. And you will check e either if it is heads or tails, and you will increment the heads count and tails count, and you will print it. You know that would be it. Yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I will print it. Uh, I will post it somewhere in my GitHub or somewhere uh, to, to see the the code, and uh, and I will comment on it. Thank you.